I'm going to show you the best way to copy an old course into a new course in Canvas. I'm Angie. I'm going to go ahead and start with one of my classes for next quarter. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and I'm going to import material from an old class. So I want to go into um, import existing content. I'm just here on the landing page. So I click here and then under content type, I want to copy a Canvas course. Now I'm copying a class from fall 23. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in F23, knowing that that's part of the name. And I'm going to copy this class. This next part is the most important part. Don't do all content. We're going to make a couple of adjustments to make your life on the other end so much easier. I'm going to click select specific content. And I also want to adjust events and due dates. The only thing I really need to change here is my new beginning date. And my new beginning date happens to be January um, 4th. No, I think it's 3rd, 2024. Now that I've got that, I can go ahead and click on import. This is going to shift all of my dates and is going to allow me to pick my content. Now I click select content and I'm going to carefully go through and decide what I don't want to import over, knowing that you can always go back and grab anything that maybe you didn't transfer over to begin with. Now I do want my course settings. I don't do Canvas's syllabus, so I'm not going to copy that one over. And I'm going to go ahead and expand my module so I make sure that I copy over just the ones that I want. And it looks like I do want, so let's see, let me go ahead and click on all of them. And I want the ones that are organized in two weeks, not the ones that are organized in two chapters. So I'm just going to go through everything and do this. So I'm just going to click through and choose what I want and what I don't want. Once I've got all the things selected that I want, I go ahead and click on select content and then I wait for it to finish. Now that it's done, I'm going to run through my checklist. The things that I need to do are to check my course dates. My college sets those up for me, but you want to check your course dates. I need to unpublish everything that is not ready. I need to adjust my due dates. I need to check for any broken links and update those. And then finally, I'll be ready to publish. Let me start with those course dates. To check those, you're going to go into settings. So over here on the left hand side, scrolling all the way down to settings. And then I can go ahead and scroll down. You can see that mine are grayed out. This is when students are able to access the information if it has been published. So if I publish it, the earliest that my students will see it would be on December 27th. The next thing that I want to do is to unpublish everything. So as I go through and unpublish everything, everything that's not ready, I'm just going to unpublish all of my modules, which is going to take me forever. So let's just pretend like I did that. I also want to get rid of any of these tabs. So I want to unpublish any of the tabs that we won't be using. To do that, I go back into settings. I'm going to click on, there it is, I'm going to click on navigation. I want to make sure that I have just a very limited list of navigation options for my students. So for example, if I wanted to move tutoring down, I can click, hold, and drag it down to the disabled items. Or I can click on the three dots to either enable or disable one of these items. Now I want to put those back because I actually liked how I had it. And then once you're done, go ahead and go down here and click on save. Next, let's change some dates. And I want to show you two really easy ways to change those dates. The first one is to do it in your calendar. So I'm going to click on my calendar. Remember, I adjusted those dates so that they would start on the same day that my quarter starts. So I want to go and select just my new class. So I've got only my new class selected. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that those assignments start to show up in January. Now, if I arrow forward, I can take any of these 
and move them as I need to. So I really want 1.1 to be due on Wednesday and then 1.2 to be due on Friday and I can start to move them this way. I find that this is a really, really easy way to do it and as soon as I've moved it, it's changed the due date in their Canvas course. Now, a couple of other things that you can do to do this. I'm gonna go back into my course. You can also do a batch edit with your assignments. I'm gonna click on assignments. This is great if you didn't do that new start date when you imported your information. I'm gonna click on the three dots and then choose edit assignment dates. I'm gonna go ahead and you can select everything or maybe you wanna go through and just select the ones that are outside of that course time and then you can do a batch edit and this allows you to shift those dates just like we had done on the import. So a really nice way to go, but I wanna hit cancel and cancel. Since I'm in the assignments tab, this is a good time to take a look to make sure that everything landed in the right grading category. Now I've got some grading categories set up that are weighted by percentages and the participation group looks good. It is 10% of total, but notice there's nothing here in assignments and I want that to be 40% of the total. So I click on the three dots, I click on edit and let's change this to 40% of that total grade. And if I scroll down, I'm going to find those assignments down here in imported assignments. I don't want them to live here. I want all of these to live instead in my assignments category. So I'm going to go up to that imported assignments heading, click on the three dots, and I want to move all of these contents into assignments and then I can click on move. Now, just like we did with the, let's check and see. Now, just like we did with um, the navigation tabs, I can also click on one of these, click hold and drag to move it into another group. So a really nice way to go there. Now I know I've got some things left to do and Canvas makes it actually very easy for me. Over here in my home page for my course, I can click on this course setup checklist. If I click on it, it's gonna go through and check the things that I've already done, which is great. And it has a few things left to suggest. So you can see that we're doing really, really well. We wanna add any course calendar events. That might be the first day of the quarter, um, maybe you've got a couple of holidays that you want to add in there. Um, add TAs to the course. I don't have any, so um, I'm just going to skip that one and then finally publish the course. Now, one of the things that isn't on this list is to validate any links to check for some broken links. So I want to show you how to do that. I'm going to go back into that settings tab. So I'm going to click on that and then you're going to notice over on the right hand side, there's an option to validate links in the content. It's going to go through this process of checking to see if there are any links that students won't be able to access. It came up with a pretty good list of things that I need to go through and double check for my students. This is a really nice way to make sure that all of the links, or at least most of the links, are working for your students. Now I've got one more really helpful tip. Sometimes there are things that we wanna integrate over from another course, but not the whole thing. And there's a super easy way to do that. Let me go to another one of my courses. I'm gonna to go to one that is open right now. Let's just grab this one. And under modules, I'm gonna choose something to import. And let's say that I wanna import this calculator information here. Now I can import it just one thing at a time much more easily than when you wanna do a whole bunch of things at once. To do it this way, just one thing at a time, you're gonna click on the three dots and then choose copy to. I love, love, love this feature. I wanna copy it to my my class that I am working on which is this one and it also gives me the option of which module I also want to put it in that uh, getting started step number one module and I want to put it after required materials and then I'll go ahead and hit copy and then it will put it right into that course you definitely have a lot more work to do beyond this take a look at this video here and good luck